so today I am coming with a video on how to sport red lips. Um, I know it's really difficult to sport red lips on an everyday basis, um, but I've actually uh, found that what I do, actually I end up feeling really comfortable in doing it and it works for me so um, I just wanted to share kind of what I do and hopefully it's, you, you know you learn something new or kind of um, apply something to your own um, routine on how you um, wear uh, red lips but um, hopefully you guys enjoy please keep watching okay so today um, like I said I'm going to be showing you guys how to sport red lipstick um, red lipstick's kind of tricky because especially if you have fair skin like mine um, it's really difficult to pull it off as an everyday look um, without looking too dramatic um, so whenever I do a red lipstick, I always like to do um, eyes very plain, um, something super simple. Usually what I'll do is uh, just put on some fake eyelashes, some liquid eyeliner at the top, and just one color um, to kind of define my crease, but that's all I do. So um, right now I've already applied my foundation, I've contoured a little bit, and um, I've applied my fake eyelashes and eyeliner. The fake eyelashes that I'm using today are from House of Lashes. They're the doll face ones and they look like this. So they're pretty full. I actually really really like them because they're not super long. They're actually about the same length as my natural lashes. So they don't look um, too fake. Um, but they add the volume that I like for my lashes. So that's why I really really like this brand. They are more on the expensive side but they are really, really good, and I've already gotten a couple uses out of out of these, and they still look like I could use them more. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. What I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to go back with um, some mascara. I haven't added any mascara to my top lashes. Um, I only do about one or two coats, just kind of to blend in my natural lashes with the fake eyelashes. The one that I use is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume, and it comes in a blue tube like this. This one's my current favorite one. Um, so I just kind of swoop it on the bottom. I don't go on the top. You don't want to add product, too much product to the fake ones if you want them to last longer. Um, and see, you can't, my eyelashes are like a tad bit longer than these. So then I'm going to go back um, to my bottom lashes and I'm going to put a few coats you don't want it to be too clumpy, so just a few coats would be good. You just want to define the lashes. Okay. So then you have to let those dry, you don't want to squint your eyes too hard or else you're going to get raccoon eyes, what I hate. Okay, so it's pretty much what you do. And I also haven't done my eyebrows, I'm just going to quickly fill my eyebrows in. Um, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and it just it's like that. Um, I use a dark uh, color and I go in with just a stiff brush like that. I pick up some of the product and I just kind of outline my natural ones to give it more of a sharp look. When you're doing a red lipstick look, you do want to have your eyelashes a little bit more, I mean your eyebrows a little bit more dramatic just because you're not going to have too much going on on your eyes, um, but you do want to define your eyes. Kind of want to even out your eyes and your, and your lips, so... Um, so then I go back again with a spoolie, and I just brush that out. Okay. Then the next step is um, to go in with some black uh, pencil eyeliner. This one's the Makeup Forever Professional Aqua Eyes, and I think it's in, it's in shade 10, but it's just a really, really dark black. So you're going to want to um, put some eyeliner on the bottom of your lashes. Okay. 
For this look, I do my eyeliner a little bit thicker than what I normally would do for an everyday, um, like a smoky everyday look. Just because I do have um, pretty thick um, eyelashes right now with the fake ones, and um, I have an eye, I have liquid eyeliner on top, so you, you want to kind of even out the thickness from the top to the thickness from the bottom. I'm going to take um, a soft brown matte from MAC, it's my favorite crease color. I'm going to go back with that one and with a crease brush like that, pick up some of the product. I'm just going to put it on my crease. And this color is light enough where it's going to add dimension, but it's not too dark where it's going to look weird. And then I'm just going to go in with my, um, with rice paper from, also from MAC, and I'm going to put that, um, with a brush like this, and I'm going to put that under my eyebrows. And again, this color is also really light, so it's going to define it, but it's not too out there where you're going to be able to really see it. See, it really makes your eyes um, look well put together, but they're not going to be too dramatic for the red lipstick. Okay, now for the actual lips. Um, I always like to use a balm under my lipstick, except especially because the one I'm going to use today is matte, and those tend to be very drying on your lips. So, um, and we are getting into the summer, so um, it's really good to protect the, your lips by using a balm that has some sort of SPS. The one I like is the Baby Lips from Maybelline. Um, they have an SPF 20, and they actually come in various other shades, so you can even just use that alone. So I just put one small coat. Sorry. Text message. Um, and then I'm going to, with the red lips, another tip is um, you always want to use an, a lip liner. Lip liner is good because it's going to make sure your your lipstick doesn't bleed out um, off to your skin, um, to the rest of your face. Because uh, red lipstick is so pigmented that it will actually do that. So the uh, lip liner is going to make sure the lipstick just stays on your lips. And then also because it is such a different contrast between my fair skin to my lips being red. Um, you kind of have to be pretty perfect at the line and um, the lipstick alone is not going to make that sharp perfect line so um, I'm using from MAC it's called kiss me quick pro longwear lip pencil and it's just a deep red it just looks like this and I actually really really love this because it's really easy and again it's one of those products where um, if you mess up it's not going to create a big old mess like you can actually lightly blend it out with your uh, finger and you can just start all over type of thing. So I'm just going to align, uh, line out my nap, my lips to the shape that I want them. And I don't do anything dramatic. I actually just go on my lips. Um, my to top lips I just defined right here, but um, I just kind of follow the natural. So it's just pretty much what you do. It doesn't have to be a perfect line on the inside because again it's gonna go over with um you're gonna go over it with lipstick. My favorite, 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 favorite red lipstick is from MAC and it's from the Viva Glam one. And it just looks like this. It's like a deep red, um, deep pure red. It's not on the orangey side. So you just go and this is a matte color. It's matte, so it's gonna have a matte finish. And it, the lip liner makes it easy, so 
You don't go out of the lines. And that is pretty much it. Um, again, you want to keep it kind of simple on the eyes, no dramatic colors. Um, I would always just stay with black. You can even do um, a, a very extended cat eye look, um, and that will look really nice with bright red lips. Um, I personally, um, I just can't perfect my cat eyes, so I just like to kind of do just very simple, small, but um, you, it doesn't, you look nice and you kind of focus your the attention on the eyes and of course the lips um and yeah so hopefully you guys liked it hopefully you guys learned something or um you know something you can add to your own routine or maybe even um find a perfect red lip for you so you guys can kind of venture out into that because um personally i know um i have been I was scared for years to try red lips, um, even though I thought it looked so, 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 so pretty on other people. I was just like, no, 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 it's not going to look nice on me, I'm too light. Um, but I think I was just having problems finding the correct shade. Um, with any other color, you know, you can pretty much pull it off if you like it or not. But with red lips, it's you have to find those perfect shades that go with your skin tone and with your undertones um, in order for it to work and for you to feel like a, you can pull it off. And I think that was my problem. I couldn't find that perfect shade until I finally found it. And when I put it on the first time, I was like, wow, I love it. So you just don't give up. Hopefully just, you know, go to the, you know, counters. They'll let you try them on, you know, just try on whichever colors um, and then hopefully you find um, that perfect shade that works well with you if you are relatively uh, my shade I think this um, Viva Glam one would work well for you um, with that lip liner absolutely beautiful and I actually really really like um, this particular MAC lipstick because it wears a long 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 time like I put it on for my sister's graduation and um, we it was probably like I put it on maybe at 2 o'clock and we didn't come home till like 11 o'clock and I was it was still on so and the lip liner as well so um, I love 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 this one and um, again I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys um, add this to your routine or try some of the little tricks on how to support a red lip um, please uh, subscribe like comment um, on our page let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to do um, if there's anything you'd like to see or um, if there's any of the products that I've used that you'd like us to review um, thank you for watching bye